Hello, my name is Jackson, and I'll be demonstrating the caught messaging functionality in TACGM. So we have our project loaded over here on the right, and WinTAC playing on the left. The project is configured with the IP address and the port number, which ATAC is using to listen to caught messages. So this enables us to send caught messages via UDP to ATAC from our project. So I'm going to go ahead and play the project. Okay, so now that our scene is loaded, I can go ahead and place the missile launcher. So I'm going to place it near this lake over here. And I'm going to set its target to be on this interstate. We'll put time on target at 0.5 seconds and let it launch. So you'll notice immediately that a new missile appears on ATAC. And this marker is updated at a rate which is adjustable in TACGM. So currently it's set at every 1.5 seconds a new caught message is dispatched. And one thing you'll notice is that when this makes impact, the marker does not disappear from the map. So that's something still left to do. So yeah, that looks, that looks good. I'm now going to drop an airplane in here and show that. Let's put it right over here in this parking lot and you'll see that a marker is appearing on the map for the airplane. So yeah, that's essentially the caught messaging functionality that we have implemented so far and we'll be looking on expanding this. We will be looking to um, take in and parse caught messages that are dispatched from ATAC so we can populate entities inside TACGM. Thank you so much for watching.